Hello, John from Bang & Olderson in Manchester and after a few requests I'm going to show you how to connect a turntable to pretty much any Bang & Olderson audio system or TV. Let's do it. So the turntable I'm using is a Project One Expression Carbon. This is sort of a mid-range project turntable. It's around £600 or so and before we start it's always good practice, which we'll talk about in a minute, to take the dust cover off. So on the turntable we've got this carbon fibre arm with the Autofon black cartridge and with it being a mid-range turntable we've also got the acrylic platter. Now one of the main jobs of a turntable is to isolate any vibrations so this is why we have the acrylic platter because it's a bit heavier and it's better at isolating the vibrations from the actual record that sits on there. And the spiked feet which we've levelled up also help to minimise any vibrations from the tabletop into the turntable. Because we don't want any vibrations from your environment transferring through the turntable down the arm into the cartridge itself. So when this little stylus here sits into the grooves of the record we don't want any other vibrations interfering with that. We want a true pure sound from the record. So at the back we have the anti-skate which stops, stops the record pulling the arm over unnecessarily onto the record and we have the weight at the back which sets the force in which the stylus is pressed into the grooves in the record which has to be correct for the stylus that you're using. So although budget turntables can sound great, the more expensive turntables are generally made from better materials and they're better at isolating vibrations from the outside world which is why we remove the dust cover. So when, we, when this dust cover is on and lifted up, the back of the dust cover acts like a big soundboard if you like and it catches vibrations and can transfer that into the turntable. But this turntable is absolutely perfect for the BLAB 17s uh, which I've got connected to the BioSound Moment uh, which is all set up here. So you'll also need a suitable phono stage. This is the Project Phono Box. I think this was less than £100, which is suitable for this sort of setup. We have the input from the turntable itself on RCA phono cables, the ground cable, which eliminates any hum, and the output to your audio system. In this case, we've got it connected to the BSL moment. And then this unit is actually powered from the main, so you have your DC input there as well. So the last bit is easy. If you've got BioSound Moment or BioSound 4, the old CD player, you will already have a set of RCA Phono line-in connections. So you connect the other end of the output from the Phono stage straight into those and you're ready to go. So all we need to do now is load up some tunes. I've got some one of my personal favourite albums is Pink Floyd, mighty Pink Floyd with a bit of metal. So we pop that on, make sure it's nice and clean, which we've done beforehand. Power up the turntable. So we have this little loading arm here, which works on hydraulic. So that needs to be in the up position to stop the arm falling down. Then we can gently place the arm over the vinyl. So that ensures the cartridge is very gently lowered onto the vinyl. Now simply select line in or A auxiliary depending on your hi-fi and we have glorious warm fuzzy vinyl. And of course if you've got an old master link system with the link rooms or the new B-Link multi-room system with the moment we can stream vinyl throughout the house. So what if we have a B-Vision 7 or B-Vision 11 or maybe B-Vision 10? We can connect it to your TV as well. So on BioVision 7 behind the back we have this little hidden panel and inside we have our RCA Phono inputs and then on the remote control we just select camera and it uses the camera input and the audio comes through. So in the back of BioVision Avant and BioVision 11 we have this special AV socket, it's a bit like a DIN plug uh, and that will go straight into the pre-amplifier with a specialist lead. Now if you need specialist leads I always get mine from Steve at Sounds Heavenly, he does free worldwide shipping and I'll put a link to his website in the description. He's a really helpful guy and his, his, his cables are really really high quality as well so can't lose really. 
and Beer Vision Horizon and Beer Vision 14, the new TVs have this audio input with a 3.5mm jack plug. Again, if you need any help with cables, just your local Bang & Olufsen dealer or Steve at Sounds Heavenly can help you. And if you've got an older audio system like the Beer Sound 3200, 3000 Century or Beer Sound 9000, that has a DIN plug for a line in. So you just get a cable from your local Bang & Olufsen dealer or Steve at Sounds Heavenly with press auxiliary and away you go. So that's it, hopefully that's helped. Um, connecting the turntable is easy, it sounds great. If you need any help at all, just pop into your local dealer or leave me a comment down below and I'll be happy to help. So you'll see me in the next video. I'm gonna to listen to some Pink Floyd now. You love a bit of Floyd, don't you mate?